can see well, now, well, having a look at Sasaki, the two Stelgard and Max Racing teammates are battling over third position at the moment. You can see oh, Suzuki, he's now back with Garcia. Good long look to his left as well, which I think he might have just gone a little bit wide. He was just hoping not to cut him back somebody on that look. In the opening six and a half laps of this Moto3 Classic, we ride on board then right now, looking back at Dennis Oliver again through Woodcoat. He's going to squeeze onto out to the paintwork. He's not going to be close enough though to attack onto onto the brakes. Bravery this time as Dennis onto gets swamped into maggots. He had only McPhee on his right, Fodger on his left, and now they're both up ahead. Of as Onju responds into turn eight on Suzuki, he made that look so easy. Nothing that Suzuki could do about that one. So from Onju, Onju did not disappoint. Made the move at turn eight, back into second. Just need a bright yellow warning sign on your pit board. So that's all. Of you, Sasaki Otoda, who turned 18 on Thursday, from 18th on the grid, he's now in the battle for the podium. Again, this Fodger has seen what looked like a pretty comfortable advantage of nearly half a second, completely gobbled up here. He's back on the real press. Double overtake into there. That might have just caught Sasaki off guard. Suzuki there was aggressive, going through the latter part of Magnus and Becky. A serious supermoto training accident right after the opening Grand Prix. So far in this Grand Prix, Sergio Garcia, the world championship leader, taken out by Sasaki on the previous lap, going through the village corner. There'll be no he was lying on the tarmac. Here it comes then, Sasaki. Yeah, yeah that's his off. mistake. He was a big old whack. Of course, he's still recovering. He's I don't know whether actually Ayuma Sasaki was maybe momentarily knocked unconscious there. That's a sight we don't want to see. Our thoughts, of course, are perhaps adding insult to injury for Sasaki. He might have a long lap penalty coming his way at the Red Bull Ring in Austria. One is not in any doubt though has got to try and kick him while he's down hasn't he? Guevara at the moment fighting for the top six. The good news is Saki then uh, is conscious. He's but we're on the final lap though in this Grand Prix. There's still plenty to play for and history potentially in the making. The first three riders on the track at the moment. Grand Prix from outside the top 20. There's almost a dozen riders, maybe more that have got genuine aspirations of a podium here. Going down the hang Oh! oh, oh Tola has gone down. Gavara. Oh and Guevara's gone down. What an unbelievable two or three laps. Looks like it will be Dennis oh, Fodger's Grand down. Prix. Munoz, the latest high-profile casualty, late on in Moto3. What a race. What a return to action after the summer break. Dennis the Menace wins. He's out in seventh. Yaman Akamino and Tatai, they're inside the top ten. Just 2.3 seconds.